Are, if you're opposed to the military strike, just raise your hand. Of the people who came here to talk with their congressmen about what the U.S. should do about Syria, only a few are in favor of action. So I encourage you to support this resolution. My understanding is that it does not involve troops on the ground, and it is limited. <laughs> Nearly all have misgivings. This is not a situation we're looking at defending ourselves. We know that things can evolve and so on. But based on what you're saying, I don't think it makes sense for us to go there. And I think we should wait. Representative Justin Amash is one of the most vocal Republicans opposed to striking Syria. He hosted these gatherings. I had the opportunity to attend a classified briefing on Sunday. Uh, that raised more questions uh, than I had before and, and made me actually more skeptical of our involvement. The congressman may be skeptical, but some of his constituents are alarmed that the president could attack Syria with or without congressional approval. I think it's despicable that a leader like that would use weapons like that on his own people. But I think it would be equally despicable for us to go in and, and launch an attack. In coffee shops across western Michigan, many people are wary of war and distrust the president. We've been lied to repeatedly by this administration. Stick to your guns. Stand up for what you believe in and what we believe in. I'm asking you, vote no. Congressman Amash's district is solidly Republican, and most of the people out here to see him are too. And they're dead set against the idea of a U.S. military strike against Syria. He promised to take that message back to Washington next week and vote against the White House plan to strike Syria. Yeah, thanks, David Hawkins, Al Jazeera, Hastings, Michigan.